Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rosie, and as you can see in front of me, I have three hair masks. I got a comment from one of you guys, and this is why I'm making this video. I got a comment from Suhani Sharma, by the way. I love your name, it's so beautiful, and I hope I'm saying it right. Um, she says, I love your channel as always. Can you do a video on hair mask for dry hair as well? I would be really happy. Thank you so much for taking time for your subscribers. Sending loads of love and positive vibes your way. Thank you so much. I send you a lot of love too. And these masks will help your hair, whether it's dry, to give it shine, moisture. It's just going to make it look so healthy. And they are so simple to make. And as always, I love using natural ingredients. They are so simple and easy to make. And without talking anymore, let's begin. The first hair mask is this one with aloe and olive oil. So if you saw one of my latest videos, I shared with you three ways to use aloe. And I still had a little bit of leftover, so I wanted to use it for this hair mask. And basically, what you do, you cut a small piece of aloe. And you're going to mix that with olive oil. If you don't have fresh aloe, then you can always get the gel aloe. But I prefer to use fresh. It's so much better. And like I said before, with olive oil, if you don't have that, then you can use coconut oil. And then you just mix it really well. Make sure to mash it up. And then it's ready to use on your hair. And some of the benefits are it will give you shine. It reduces frizziness or frizziness. It gives you moisture. It just has so many benefits. I really like it and it's so simple to make. Okay, the next hair mask that I want to share with you guys is this one with coffee. It just smells so wonderful. This is one of my favorite masks. And all you need is ground coffee. I like using organic coffee and coconut oil. If you don't have coconut oil, you can use almond oil or olive oil depending on what you have. I just love the combination of these two scents. It's just amazing. So what I use is about a tablespoon of coffee and one tablespoon of coconut oil. Just mix it up really well and that's it. And basically some of the benefits is that because brown coffee it's more like an exfoliant. The texture is more like sand, like beach sand. So basically what that will do it's going to exfoliate your scalp. Afterward, it feels so soft. So this one, you want to make sure you do a massage around your head. And basically what it will do, it's going to stimulate hair growth. It removes dead skin cells. If you have dandruff, it's also great. And if you have product buildup, this is also great because it will unclog your pores. So I just love it. It smells so wonderful. It's one of my favorite ones, so I highly recommend it. Okay, the next hair mask is this one with bananas. So I already made a video with five strange uses with banana in case you want to check it out. Um, so this one, what I used was a ripe banana and make sure it has spots. Um, if, if it doesn't have spots, it doesn't have the same benefits. I also added about a tablespoon of almond oil. If you don't have almond oil, you can use coconut oil or olive oil depending on what you have and one tablespoon of agave. Just mix it up really well. Basically, the banana will help strengthen and nourish your hair and make your hair thicker. They also nourish your scalp and hair follicles and split ends, and the agave will give you moisture and shine to your hair. So really simple to make and also smells wonderful. I love it. So there you go, three simple and easy hair masks. I already have an ebook available on my site, which is called Kind Beauty Care. Um, basically what it's about, it's everything about how to look your best, to look beautiful from the inside out, about the right foods to eat depending on the season. I share more about hair mask, um, face mask, how to do your own makeup, your own skincare, and I talk about why each ingredient is beneficial. So I put a lot of time and love into that ebook in case you want to check it out. As always, let me know what you thought about this video. If you want to see something else on the channel, let me know in the comments section. Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
And you can follow me on all social media pages with the same name, Lynn Sire. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Kisses. Bye. Happy, happy dance. Happy, happy dance. I'm done filming. Yay. This is always the happy Friday.